Of course, have Stewie2K on the line with us. First of all, huge congratulations in a really convincing series, Stewie. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you very much for asking. I, I do want to ask you particularly about the team's confidence coming into this because we heard it from Adren that uh, he was kind of working with you guys. You were working as a team unit to be bringing up that confidence, that positive mentality. So can you give us any insight on how you guys have been doing that as a team? Anything specific that you've been shaking up? Yeah, so I think our biggest weakness right now is ourselves. Um, just making sure we're staying into it and you know doing the best we can in the moment. And even though we can't, we still have to make sure we're doing every, everything we can before the game ends and just leave it all on the server. So I think that's the biggest key for us right now. But speaking about confidence, I think for us as majors, it's very possible. Like I talked with John after the, you know, after our RMR event a little bit, and I told him this major is very possible. Like I had the same feeling when I was on Cloud9 going into the major. Like this is definitely possible, and we just need to, you know, peak. Everyone needs to peak right now. Everyone needs to put in all the work, and it only takes like a month to get there. So one month of hard work, it, we can get the results we want maybe. So right now we're just trying to um, maintain some consistency and just work on attitude a little bit, making sure our game is up to date. We're still struggling, struggling on a lot of maps. Even coming into this 9Z game, um, our nuke has been very weak. Um, it's no secret. So we've been working on that. And we were kind of surprised at how we did, I guess, in a sense. Stu, I said coming into this game that you guys annoyed me a little bit because I think you should be much better than you're showcasing right now. Wouldn't you agree that right as of lately, you guys haven't performed up to the level that you should be at, given you have so much talent and so many good players in your lineup? Yeah, um, our results are a little underwhelming, but the results kind of say otherwise when it comes to numbers. Um, even the last time we came to Europe, even though we lost the 1v5, for example, we made a very insane comeback and the game was very much in our favor and we should have closed it on any other day. So just looking at those matches, like those are technically good losses. Those are losses that we can take and, you know, it's hard hitting ones, but those are ones that, you know, that's what makes the good, that's what separates the great teams from the good because we're going to be able to close those matches. We learn from those and we won't make it happen, let it happen again. For sure. And it's still for, for some relatively new that Adwin is, uh, is back with you guys. And, and now he's had some time to, to be with you as well, back at the boot camp as well. Can you try to, to put a few words on what he adds to your lineup now and, and what he's trying to change to make you guys better? Yeah, it's very tough. I, what I realized was when we first had Eric and we removed him for Jason, we needed that mentality shift. We needed someone who can really lift us up, you know, kind of spread that positive energy and really get the boys going when it matters. And for us, um, he didn't really meet the expectations that we had. And we decided to bring back Eric and it kind of showed me how much that Eric brings to the table. Because these guys, like sometimes you really need the push to get to get the guys going. And he pretty much starts our practice. He makes sure... Um, we have something to work on, making sure it's productive. Um, he's, he's played the game before, so he knows what we really need to talk about, what's the important stuff inside the game that we really need to solve, and you know, kind of just making sure people are talking to each other and get the flow going. Stewie, you said something very interesting in your first answer. You know, the major is coming very soon, and everyone needs to peak. To your understanding, how do you get there? How do you, how do you make sure that everyone peaks at the right time? Is that individual training? Is that mental training? Is that team aspect? How do you see that? Um, we can go down many roads on this topic, but for me, I think the first step is um, when it comes to teams, I think camaraderie is a big thing. Um, I think that's really what brings the team together. And that's, you know, it really makes the team excel. It shows your true potential and your ceiling. And that's what's going to help you guys get there. It's going to push you guys even more. It makes things magnified, for example. And um, just confidence. I think it comes to, you know, picking each other up and, you know, inside the game, I think communication is very important. You know, not just those communication where, you know, you're going through the motion in a sense. Like, you want communication for solutions. You know, like making your teammates better, not communicating just to say numbers, just to say this, just to say that, I'm spoken this. It's more so like what you can do to tell your teammates to make things better. And once you start practicing those little things, I feel like all those like small problems just kind of go away and you get into this rhythm and, you know, the blood starts flowing and you start feeling the game and everyone's intuitive, you know? Right. And, you know, that major coming over, do you feel like because of the experience you have in your team, do you feel like you're well equipped to attack this major? Because for a lot of teams, there's going to be pressure. It's the first one in two years. But you guys, you have a hell of a lot of experience in that. Um, I think it's going to be different for everybody. We haven't been to a land in a while, and especially going back to one of the biggest lands, and it so happens to be a major. Um, I think it can be frightening for everybody. You know, just um, a little nerves here and there. But I think with us... We just take what we can get. We're going in there as confident as possible, and we believe we can take it and see what kind of damage we can do.
before we get to that next stop, obviously, next game here is going to be up against VP, a game that I'm really excited for, just seeing VP earlier on this morning. So how are you feeling going up against them, considering you know, you're talking about building this confidence as a team? How Do you see them as potential threats to you guys? Um, I think everybody's a threat at this point. You know, anybody can beat anybody. Even coming into this 9Z game, not knowing what to expect, we, you know, we, we're pretty... Sh our expectations, we're supposed to beat them, but we also got to be real where they can beat us as well. You know, things might not go in our favor, and, you know, you come as prepared as possible for every match. But VP, um, it's going to be a tougher team. We're going to need to get into the groove of things, but I'm very excited for the match, actually. Well, it sounds like a solid mentality to be going forward with, Stewie. Thank you so much for your time. Huge congratulations on your first win here at the showdown again. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Thank you very much, Stewie. Of course, that does mean with that victory for Liquid, 9Z are eliminated from the tournament, the final team here on day three of the showdown. But we do have a few words from Zach after that loss.